If you've got the DJI V2 goggles, then in my opinion, rooting them is mandatory because rooting the goggles lets you get the full Betaflight OSD, Betaflight, INEV, RG Pilot, whatever you fly, the full OSD in the goggles, something that DJI has never given you, at least not when used with the Vista VTX. But there's a problem. If you've updated the firmware on your goggles past a certain point, you can't root them and DJI won't let you roll back the firmware. That's the topic that we're talking about today. The FPV WTF team, the same team that came up with the ability to root the goggles and do all that other stuff, have released a tool that lets you roll back the firmware on your V2 goggles. And this is a big deal for two reasons. Number one, it will let you roll back firmware and root the goggles and get access to this for a whole bunch of people who can't do it today. But number two, if you brick your goggles or if you brick your Vista, then this can bring them back from the dead. I'm Joshua Bardwell, and you're going to learn something today. The FPV WTF devs have named this tool Butter. Their first tool was Margarine, their second tool was Butter, and I'm trying to think of what's next in line there. That would be like the punchline of the joke, what's their next tool gonna be? But I'm totally blanking. So tell me down in the comments, uh, help me brainstorm what their next tool should be named. Margarine, Butter, uh, I don't even know what comes next in that list. Butter works by taking advantage of the fast boot function on the DJI Air Unit, the Air Unit Lite, Caddx Vista, Runcam Link, all those video transmitters from that generation of the FPV system, as well as the Goggles V1 and Goggles V2. Have you ever noticed that when you plug your goggles in, let's do it. We plug your goggles in, listen to the USB sounds. Okay, that's one. Where did, what was that? It went away. That very first connection is the fast boot thing. See, DJI, for all the criticism they get, they're pretty freaking clever in designing their products. And what they made the goggles do is, before the goggle boot up, they connect to the computer in fast boot mode for five seconds. And if during that window, a program reaches out to them and says, hey, you're messed up, let me flash you. It's like a back door into the goggles that lets you flash them, similar to bootloader mode on your flight controller. But then when nothing happens, the goggle boots normally. And the FPV WTF devs have figured out how to interact with this fast boot mode to let them flash arbitrary firmware to the goggles in a way that DJI doesn't want you to do. My goggles are currently on firmware 01040000. And my goggles are actually already rooted. And once you root them, they stay rooted even as you flash forward. It's just the actual process of rooting them that has to be done on the older firmware. But because I know there's a lot of people out there who are in this situation, or maybe you've bricked your goggles, or maybe you've bricked your Vista and need to restore it, I'm gonna go through the process of rolling them back just so everybody has an example and just so I've done it at least once. Unfortunately for Mac users, this is only supported on Windows and Linux. Uh, it's not that the devs have anything against macOS, it's just that they couldn't figure out a way to get it to actually work. For end users, the recommended method is to download pre-made flashing packages available at these links. So let's see, I have the Goggles V2, so I'm gonna download this pre-made flashing package. We're gonna download this. And it looks like Windows users need to install these drivers first, okay? Let's find these drivers. This is the FPV WTF driver installer. Love it. And we'll usually go to releases for uh, GitHub and here is driverinstaller.exe. We're gonna go ahead and download that. And when that's done, I'll go ahead and run it. Generally a bad idea to run unsigned executable files from sources on the internet, but I trust the FPV WTF guys, so we're gonna go for it. So I'll open Windows Explorer and go to my downloads folder where the recovery package is, and I'll go ahead and open that up. And in fact, I should probably extract that. Right click, 7-zip extract to. Uh, oh, neat, the driver installer comes with it, isn't that nice? Uh, Readme.txt, always read the readme, right? Ensure you're flashing the right device. Have your device powered off, okay? Launch Windows Run Me .bat or Linux Run Me .sh. Power on your device. Wait, it couldn't be simpler. All right, let's do it. Windows Run Me .bat. Please connect and power on your device. I mean, I'm kind of like on pins and needles here, but like if it goes wrong, then what am I going to do? Brick my device? I can just recover it using this exact tool. I hope. All right, that's it. Is that it? Press any key to continue. So now are my goggles on an older firmware? Oh gosh, they're not gonna have the Air, O3 air unit at all. Oh yeah, they're completely, wow. 
We're right back at the language select screen. Holy crap. What firmware is firmware incompatibility? You're not kidding. Oh. But it still says 0104000. Hey there, folks. Joshua from the future here. So here's the deal. The firmware is overwritten. But the place in the goggles where the goggle stores the firmware version that it's currently on is not overwritten. So the goggle still thinks it's on whatever firmware you were on before you ran Butter. When you connect to the DJI Assistant, it will show you as being on that firmware. And you can, of course, hit upgrade or refresh and reflash that firmware if you need to then later come forward again. But if you look in DJI Assistant or you look in the goggles about screen, it will show you as being on whatever firmware you were on before you ran Butter. Suffice it to say, it actually works, but you could tell it works because because the whole goggle gets reset, you get the language screen, you lose all your binds, it's as if you had a completely fresh new set of goggles. The bottom line is, if you have a set of goggles that you cannot root and you want to roll them back, or if you have a set of goggles, an air unit that is bricked and will not boot up at all, try what I just did. Probably will work, and if it doesn't work, go to the FPV WTF Discord. This could be the exact thing you need. Now, normally this is the part of the video where I would plug my Patreon and ask you to sign up to support me, but I'm not going to do that. Instead, I'm going to ask you to go support FPV WTF. There's a link to their open collective down in the video description. They are doing so much for the users of this system, and if you've watched this video lo this long, you probably are one of them, to make it, to do things that DJI won't do and won't give us. Uh, brick your goggles, send them back to DJI, good luck. Now you can fix them. Don't have OSD, now you can have it. And they just certainly deserve at least a little bit of your support for that. So there's a link down there, down below. If you don't know what rooting is and you don't know how to do it, or if you know what it is and you wanna do it, I'm gonna put a card on screen to my video going through exactly how to do it. Mandatory, in my humble opinion, for anybody who owns these goggles. See you there.